Hello, welcome to this session. Today, we are going to learn how to create number ranges for material types. So number ranges for material types, we'll go to the back end. All right, SAP system, SPRO, enter. Okay. So we go to Logistic General, click. Material Master, click. Basic Settings, click. Material Types. Number Ranges uh, for Material Type, click, enter. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a number range group. Okay, to create a number range group, you go right here, click. All right, create button right there, click. So we need to give a name for our number, for our number range group. So we're gonna say number range. group for material type Z arrow empty okay so this is a material uh, type that I created in one of my previous uh, videos you can check it out okay so for number range uh, intervals okay we need to check which intervals are available for us to pick from okay so let's check right here interval Let, let's look at the existing interval so these are the existing intervals, okay? So we need to sort it out to know which number was the last number that was issued in the system. Okay, to do that, click right there, form, form number, sort right there, sort in ascending order. Okay, so it says here that it's been sorted out. Okay, scroll down. So this right here is the last number. This is the last number that was issued in the system, okay? All right, so this is the form number and the two number. This is just a number range uh, status right there. We're gonna talk about this some other, uh, some other time. All right, so this is the last number right there that was issued. I already have it copied to save us time. So after this number, the next number is going to be, right, 500 from here, okay? It's gonna be from 499 to 500. So that's gonna be the next number that is free for us to choose from, okay? So all this number ending with 500, uh, 500 okay? So copy. Close this. So from that number, okay, to some number, let's say 599, okay, enter. System approved, okay, no, uh, there was no, no error messages, so there's no overlapping, okay, so save. So it just tells us here that we need to actually save this completely by using customization request prompt, which I'm going to show, I'm going to show you later, okay. Enter. All right. So go back. All right. So our number range group is going to be found on the last line of the page. If I can get there. All right. So this is number range group for material type ZRMT. Okay. Right there. Okay. So now let's look for our uh, uh, material type so we can actually link this number range group to our material type so we search material type zrmc i already have it written but you can actually type your own material type right here to search for it okay let me take this one out so search for this in this document view right there okay search so this right here the first line you see zrmt is our material type that we created in one of the previous videos so z raw material youtube remember okay so click this select okay so this is the guy right here zrmt okay so we're going to link this guy this material type to our number range group so to link click on this press a uh, uh, click on element group element and group okay so find our number range group scroll down to the last line because you just created this that's why it's found in the last line of course okay so click on this so now we are linking our number range group to our material type right there okay so we are linking our material type zrmt okay to our number range group that we just created click all right so if you scroll down once more to the bottom of the page you are going to see this connection has been made okay so this is our number range group right there linked or assigned to our material type okay so save it 
Go back. So this is where you have to use the customization request prompt right there. Click on ranges, transport, okay. To be able to transport your changes properly so they can be actually saved in the system. Yes. All right, just ignore this for now. We're gonna talk about this another time. Just click continue, yes. So it actually saves on that project, on the project you're working with. All right, just enter. Just ignore that message right there. Enter. All right, go back. So to actually check if our customization or our uh, our changes, our maintenance was actually adopted in the system. So when we create our next material uh, master record with our material type ZRMT, we are going to we have to see this next number. We have to see this number for our material number. We have to see this number because this is the next number in the number range group that we just created. So to test our configuration. Let's real quick create a material master record using our uh, material type ZRMT, okay? Four slash N, MM01 to create. I'm just jumping straight into the material master data creation. Industry sec uh, sector, let's just say mechanical engineering. Material type, we are using our ZRMT, remember? To just check to see if our customization or configuration was uh, adopted in the system, all right? Yes, okay. I'm not going to go too uh, detailed into the question. We just want to look at one of the views to make sure that uh, to make sure that we actually uh, the system actually adopted that uh, number range for for that uh, material type. So just choose these views. Okay, enter. Okay. Of course, to create material master record, we already have uh, a video video in the channel. You can you can follow through. Okay. Enter. All right, so you see right here, this number right here, this is this number. That is the number that the system assigns for our material type because that's how we have customized the system. So this number matches with this number. It tells us that our, uh, our configuration of our material type uh, for our number ranges for our material type has been adopted in the system. All right, that'll be all for now. So you can proceed, you can follow through by uh, creating your material master record. We have a video already available in the, in the channel for you. All right, thank you very much for your time. You have a wonderful rest of your day.